the brand new 13 inch MacBook Pro with an M3 chipset could be on its way in 2023. And also we have more details on the M3 chipset revealed in today's report. Let's go over the details about this and also cover the details about the specs for the new MacBook Pro including screen size, design and other details and of course give you the latest on the MacBook Pro M3 release date and price as well. But first let's jump in there with what the MacBook Pro is essentially being upgraded to. So for a long time Apple have always provide the smaller lower spec macbook pro and a higher spec macbook pro for the last 10 years or so and when we had the sort of the intel chipsets we normally on the 13 inch macbook pros sort of either got basically a dual core even a quad core in its later days on that macbook pro for the 13 inch model then after in the later years we actually got the quad core and then after that we got to apple silicon and apple decided to make the 13 inch macbook pro just have the standard m chipset inside it so we had the likes of the m1 and the m2 but then for the likes of the 14 and the 16 inch macbook pros the larger models they have that m1 pro and m2 pro and also that m2 max as well and the m1 max inside it so the 13 inch one has always been considered sort of a sort of a lower spec model inside it as already mentioned, we have the M2 chipset already inside the MacBook Pro, but the actual design of the MacBook Pro hasn't changed a bit, probably in the last sort of about seven years now. Even when we had the Intel chipset inside the 13 inch MacBook Pro, we had the touch bar design, and this design has stayed the same. We've had refreshers, like I said, on the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros with brand new design, and even the MacBook Air in 2022, but nothing on the MacBook Pro 13 inch. However, this year it looks like that this could be changing. So for design and screen size of the new MacBook Pro M3, so we're hoping that this year for the first time we'll actually see a brand new design for the MacBook Pro with the M3 chipset inside it. It's most likely the new design would be thinner than say the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros, but the other difference it would be is that there would be probably a few less additional ports than what we have on those two models. So for example, we probably have more than we got on the 13 inch MacBook Air, so we're probably expecting maybe a MagSafe capability, an SD card slot, and also a HDMI port too. But as this is the smaller MacBook Pro, we'll probably only get, say, two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports. But for the actual screen size as well, it'll probably stay the same size as the current MacBook Air, what is a 13.6-inch display. It won't go up to a 14-inch or even beyond 14-inch because we have that already. And also, don't expect probably a ProMotion display inside it. We'll probably have the standard 60Hz display too. Battery life is also going to be probably very similar or maybe just slightly more mainly because we've got that next sort of generation of chipset inside it but still at the end of the day the larger sort of 16 inch MacBook Pro will have the better battery life out there. For chipsets, we're expecting an M3 normal to be put inside this MacBook Pro, and it's very likely that we see a significant speed increase of, say, around about 70% over the original M1 Apple Silicon that came out in 2020. We're expecting more cores again, and also a bigger factor, as you can see here, is that the new chipset will be made on a 3 nanometer die that will improve efficiencies in speed and battery life all around. Now, having said all of this at this stage, I will mention that all reports and leaks are not 100% proof they will come true for the new MacBook Pro. However, if you're still watching this video, then you as curious, I mean, knowing what is said about the new MacBook Pro anyway. So, for release date next, the M2 journey is now complete. At WWDC 2023, we got the brand new 15 inch MacBook Air with the M2 chipset, and we also got introduced to the M2 Ultra inside the Mac Studio and also the Mac Pro. Now, something else that was announced at WWDC was the new Vision Pro. And that, that Vision Pro, what is powering it, is an M2 chipset. But Apple said that this new Vision Pro is not going to be coming out till the early part of 2024. Now, as this is Apple's new flagship device, it is logical that no new M3 chipset would come along before that. 
However, we have heard from Mark Gurman, who's actually saying that we will be getting an M3 chipset coming out before the end of 2023, and the MacBook Pro M3 is one of the devices that will be debuting before the end of the year. So then guys, just quickly, one thing I love to do on this channel is I love to give something back to you guys. I love to do a giveaway on this channel. And right now I have a new giveaway that's gonna be happening at the end of September, 2023. And that giveaway is for these three prizes that you see right here. So that's right, there'll be three lucky winners and one person from one of those three lucky winners will win one of these prizes. So let's go over what those prizes are right now we have got some airpods pro what will be going to one lucky person we've also got an apple watch se as well and then finally we've also got here the apple watch ultra that will also be going to one lucky person and all you have to do to enter into this international giveaway so that's anywhere in the world you can enter in is just put down in the comments below of what apple gear what technology gear you're hoping to buy in 2020 put it down in the comments below and also at the same time if you are brand new here make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell because i will be giving you out more details about the giveaway in september time and you won't want to miss out on that so make sure you do that right now now just quickly as well guys what i just want to say there are still lots of scammers and you know spammers out there some of them still impersonating myself telling you to whatsapp them or telegram them or even to tell you to pay like a hundred dollars for shipping or something like this this is not me at all on my giveaway guys i will be posting it out and i will be paying the shipping fee so ignore these completely or please do report them and with that guys it's time to return back to the video so then let's go over the specs next of all for the brand new m3 pro macbook pro so first of all, we are probably going to be getting at last a new design for the MacBook Pro M3. And I would say the design is in its own way a bit similar to the current MacBook Pro that we have right now. What I mean by it is the 14 and 16 inch mixed with, say, the MacBook Air 13 inch that we have right now. So it's most likely we'll still be getting that exact same 13.6 LED rest of the display that we have in the 13 inch MacBook Air. And this will be a 60 hertz refresh rate screen it will not be a pro motion 120 hertz refresh rate the storage options will be a choice between 256 gigabytes of storage all the way going up to two terabytes if you want that we will have the m3 chipset inside it and that will be made of a brand new 10 core cpu and also a 12 core gpu option this time round. and with that it will be made on that brand new three nanometer die that will give it even more efficiency and even more speed inside this macbook pro we'll have the choice again between 8 to all the way up to 24 gigabytes of ram if you want to do that the body itself will be made out of aluminum or aluminium if you're here in the uk and then you'll also get the magsafe port two usb-c thunderbolt four ports hdmi and an sd card slot too what is an addition to what you'd normally get on say the macbook airs that hdmi and that sd card slot you'll also be able to still get this in the space gray or the silver colors the webcam will also finally be upgraded to a 1080p camera in the top notch up there and battery life will probably be up to about 23 hours with all those efficiencies with the m3 chipset and also this modified new design prices with the standard base model the 8 gigabytes of ram will start at 1299 us dollars but if you went up in storage but kept the same ram 512 1499 and then one terabyte 1699 and then two terabytes 2099 us dollars and on that note guys it's also time to wrap up this video what do you think of the brand new macbook pro m3 is it shaping up to be a great new macbook i would love to know your thoughts so please do put them down in the comments below and also guys if you want to hear the latest apple news reviews and comparisons like i said already make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell until next time guys i will see you really soon take care bye bye